Welcome back for another video. The Roundup is a series on this channel that arms you with useful information to take into each game week to arrive at better decisions. This includes the top players for predicted points, the bookies odds, transfer trends and more. If you find today's video useful, hit like so it can spread to others. I read every comment so let me know what you thought of the Game Week 5 Roundup below. Enjoy the video. We'll start with the goal scorer odds, which are always based on the assumption that a player starts, and this is sometimes not the case. Salah tops the charts for the fixture against Crystal Palace, home at Anfield. There is a definite trend back towards home sides performing better this season, with the return of crowds at games. Salah is second for expected goal involvement this season on 3.78, and only Mane and Antonio can better his 18 shots and his 14 shots in the box. Salah's also created three big chances this season, which is second to Alexander Arnold's four. Ronaldo is second on the goal scorer odds facing West Ham. He had a dream return debut, scoring twice against Newcastle, and was subbed off early in the Champions League, with Solskjaer wanting to manage his minutes ahead of the West Ham fixture and to see the game out. With Firmino still out injured, Jota's a very good differential for Game Week 5 and comes in third on the goal scorer odds. Mane is another differential in that Liverpool side. He's top for expected goal involvement this season and took 10 shots against Leeds in Game Week 4, which was the most shots he's ever had in a Premier League game. Man City are back on top for clean sheet odds facing Southampton at home. They've kept clean sheets in their last three Premier League games in a row. This season Man City are top for expected goal conceded on only 2.18 and have only conceded two big chances from their opening four games. They're also by far the best for goal attempts in the box conceded on only 13, second being Man United on 21. Unsurprisingly Liverpool are second for clean sheet odds up against Crystal Palace. Vieira will have decisions to make after new signing Eduard came off the bench for a remarkable brace against Tottenham in just 6 minutes. Wolves kept their first clean sheet in Game Week 4 against Watford at Vicarage Road. Despite a poor start to the season, their underlying stats are good and their third best for expected goals conceded. There's some great budget options in their defence such as Marcao and Semedo. They face Brentford at home who have only scored once in their last three games. Rhys James returns from suspension for Chelsea and is available for selection if Tuchel wants to call upon him for the Spurs game. Chelsea have a 42% chance of a clean sheet against Tottenham. Shockingly Spurs had just two shots against Crystal Palace, neither of which were by Kane and they finished the game on an XG of just 0.07. The bookies are giving Southampton just a 6% chance of shutting Man City out. However the difficulty is getting your City pick correct. Torres has started all games in the league, but was withdrawn early last match. With De Bruyne and Foden returning, it's very hard, as always, to predict two plays. Salah is top once again for predicted points, courtesy of FPL Review's algorithm, on 8.15 points. Second and third are both Liverpool players, with Manny and Trent making the leaderboard. Despite the algorithm giving Torres 65 predicted minutes, he still makes the top 10 with 6.02 predicted points. Ronaldo has 5.96 predicted points for the West Ham game. Both sides he'll be facing each other off the back of European football, with West Ham getting two less days to recover. With both Liverpool and City being favoured for a clean sheet, both teams' fullbacks make the top 10, with the chance of an attacking return always a possibility among the likes of Trent, Cancelo and Robertson. Ronaldo is the most transferred in player for Game Week 5, with over 900,000 picking him up and likely to exceed 1 million by the deadline. Lukaku also scored twice in Game Week 4 for 13 points and is second with over half a million picking him up, despite a couple of potentially tricky fixtures ahead. Gray scored for the third consecutive game, so it's no surprise to see him heavily transferred at only 5.7. Likewise, Marcao, who has the previously discussed run of games coming up, and against Watford he kept a clean sheet plus picked up two assists. Eduard looks like a real bandwagon move off the back of the brace since he faces Liverpool next. But with him and Bamford making the top 10 there will be a huge amount of managers seeking Antonio and Calvert-Lewin replacements. Antonio's red card means over 1.1 million have already got rid of him. He'll miss just one game through suspension before facing Leeds in game week 6 but it's clear that many managers are unwilling to wait as his ownership has dropped over 12%. Son and Calvert-Lewin missed their last game through injury, so it's understandable to see their mass sold too. Ben Rama disappointed his owners with his second blank in a row after starting the season so well. 
As mentioned, he'll face Man United next, which will be a tough match, and even more so without Antonio spearheading the attack. Tony is another player who's been underwhelming, whose initial 6.5 price tag looked quite appealing. He's likely to drop to 6.3 before the deadline, and could become a bargain pick in the future if he finds some form. We'll conclude the roundup as always with the captaincy results. Thanks to everyone who voted on the poll on our Discord. If you'd like to join, the link is in the description. The results are in and they are as follows. Salah dominates this game week's poll with 76.9% of the vote. He may well have the highest effective ownership of the season to date, and we've talked plenty about his merits as a captain option. If you dare to pick anyone other than Salah, there's certainly a huge opportunity to fly up the ranks if they outperform him. Ronaldo is second on 7.7% and Lukaku in third with 4.4%. Who have you got the armband on? Let me know in the comments. For now, thank you for watching this game week's episode of the Roundup. If you found it useful, please hit like to support the channel and hit subscribe if you're new. I read every comment, so as always, I'm keen to hear your thoughts. 